what's going on and welcome back to the channel so today we're working on the 2020 supra we got a brand new product in from fuel it it is the fuel it flex fuel kit it is a bluetooth module so this is the actual bluetooth section and it uses a genuine continental flex fuel sensor. So the fuel it kit uses an iOS or Android app on your phone or tablet to be able to monitor your fuel. So you'll be able to live monitor the ethanol content in your fuel from your phone. This is also sold three different ways, Bluetooth only, or it also has an optional zero to five volt output for a JB4 or multiple different other tuners. And then the other option is the option we have here, which is a raw signal, so 50 to 150 hertz. So this will be able to work with the Z-Tronics and convert it to CAN bus so it will communicate with the Ecutech. But today I'm just gonna show you how to install this kit and then we'll have a video later on how the Z-Tronics works. So let's go ahead and get it in the car. First thing you want to do is disconnect your positive terminal from your battery. If you don't know how to do that, you should not be working with this and you should have a professional install this because this is fuel. And as you know, fuel is very combustible and can cause major major fire or other issues so there's a bunch of people that would say oh i'll just keep the key away or whatever i don't think you understand how much fuel will come out of these lines if you do not <laughs> disconnect the battery if the the car can have a mind of its own and can just suddenly decide oh there's a fuel pressure drop and send fuel Disconnect the battery. I can't say it enough times, disconnect the battery, please. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we wanna pull the engine cover and then we're gonna get in and there is another cover back here and then we're gonna get the fuel line off and get all this mounted and wired up. It is a very simple process, but it takes a little bit of time. So let's get right into it. Now there's this little uh, heat shield. You're gonna wanna go ahead and pop this off. So it's just kind of hooked here. And then there's another two of these that are one here and one right back here. So just go ahead and just kind of lift your, put your fingers underneath it and pull up just as if it was the, the engine cover. Try not to drop it behind the engine. And then just go ahead and slide her on out. It's easy if you twist it that way. Now, you can do this one of two ways. I'm gonna do it this way, which is just pushing down here. And we can go ahead and get this out of the way. Push here, pull that out. And then there's this little clip here. It's very hard to do with one handed. And that comes up, and slide that out. And we're gonna just set that off to the side a little bit because right there is one of the lines we want to get off and right here is the other. So there are these plastic little clips, one on each end. How you remove it is you're going to need three fingers. You put a thumb on the top and two index fingers and you pull straight up. And trust me, if you don't, if you don't use three fingers, and just use two, it's gonna fly off. I'm gonna set one there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this one. You're gonna need a nice clean rag. Go ahead and wrap it around this and make sure that you're covering the actual hose because fuel will spray out of this. You wanna go ahead and there's a couple, there's an actual tool for this. I'm going to show you how, if you don't have a tool, I use an 11 millimeter. You go ahead and take the 11 millimeter and you be careful. You can just slide it on here and you're going to apply pressure on 
this black clip, but while you're applying the pressure, you're going to be pushing the line in at the same time. So make sure you cover it all up. Make sure you have your eye protection. And she went ahead and popped off. And there's one of them. And then we're gonna go to the other, wrap the rag around here. Is what we were doing is we were pushing on both of these and then once they were pushed, then you slide it right off. So I'll show you exactly. So you see this little lip right here, that's what it's pushed over. All right, so we're gonna assemble this just like so. And these are just put push right on. Just go ahead and clip, there's one. And this has two different sizes. So you'll notice that the orange side doesn't fit in there. Go ahead and put the blue one on until it clips. We're gonna go ahead and put the fuel at Bluetooth sensor on the actual Continental Flex Fuel sensor. I'm gonna leave this till last. Go ahead and install this in the car. All right now we're gonna put this in the reverse way that we took it out. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this on in here. Get our orange side on. We're gonna go ahead and tuck the sensor back behind there. Connect that up. And we are gonna zip tie this out of the way once we get everything installed. So that's there. We've got our harness right there. I'm gonna push, put this back on. So we clipped this back in place, clipped it back in back here. Now we're gonna run our wiring and drape it across and our sensor is back here. Go ahead and plug this in to hear it snap. And then we're gonna go ahead and tuck this into the already existing wonderful wiring harness here. Oh wiring area i'm gonna go all the way across clip that in you can fold it over to there and with this so our power wire is going to plug into this right here and this is a t50 torx you have to take this all the way out and before we connect this in i'm gonna unlock this pull this out and up here an opening here and feed this through this opening and we're gonna put it back here because so we're gonna ground that back in that area i'm gonna bring the power wire back through we can put our power lug in and you just go ahead and thread it tighten this down and you want to keep this in this little back corner here so that way the wire can tuck up underneath here a lot easier and then we're gonna go ahead and put that clip that in pull the windshield washer fluid off of here and now we have enough space and there is a 10 millimeter bolt right back here that has something already grounded to it and since we're gonna be running Ecutech this wire we're gonna tape up for the moment because we're waiting on our Z-Tronics to show up. So we'll tape that up a little bit and we're gonna actually tape it to this loom. So I just went ahead and taped it to that like so. Wind it up, we will zip tie it out of the way. All right, now you got your wire loom out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and get this placed in a better area here. I'm gonna tuck it up underneath this and then we will zip tie it all out of the way once this is tight now we got that all in place we're gonna go ahead and put all this back and tuck in this and you're set and ready to roll now we're gonna add a couple zip ties just so the wire stays out of the way put one right here We'll go ahead and zip tie it right here. 
and then we are going to get the sensor zip tied and we got the sensor zip tied up to that line right there and yes that kink is actually part of the line and then we got our wire ran across here and then tucked in right there now that's all connected we're gonna put this in the same way just twist it on in tight fit this one goes here this little lip goes right underneath there and then that clips on that's underneath that the last piece all right and just like that we can go ahead and turn the car on it probably will take a split second longer to start or not All right guys, and that's how you install the Flex Fuel Fuel It Kit. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go to your app store, whether it's Google Play or the Apple App Store, download the app, and go ahead and start monitoring from there. Other than that, that's gonna end this episode. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Are you gonna be running E85 or any type of ethanol mix? Let us know in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. There's two gray clips on one.